Oh, thanks to Leon for those early races into the Crunchy Stairs handicap. We'll kick me off, and it's a two mile three furlong, 0 to 80. There's a very small field of four, two of which belong to Alex Cherry. At the top, we've got Miley for Craig Beckwith, Golden Gate for Obi Wan, Captain Paddy, and One Eyed for Alex Cherry. And four of them over two miles and three furlongs. And away they go. And Miami on the inside of the two Alex Cherry Greys and then Golden Gate closest to us. And Leon knew when to depart the commentator seat, didn't he? Just before a four on a two mile three furlong handicap. Anyway, only Eyed is the leader. Early on, leading by three. To stable mate Captain Paddy in second. And Golden Gate for Obi Wan in third, who's surprisingly not the leader. With Miami just at the back top weight for Craig Beckwith. And it's only Eyed in front. This is almost a flat handicapper's race, isn't it? Because Alex Cherry is doing the. No, he's not. He's doing the jump handicap, isn't he? Oh, no, I'm talking about. See, that's the trouble with these two mile, three furlong races with only four runners in. You know, I'll just start waffling rubbish and get everything confused and then confuses everybody else as well. I've got poor old Kevin Meenahan confused the other week while making him think he's going to run his horse an extra time to get into the Grand National. And um, maybe it'd be better if I just kept quiet anyway. Only eyed is six furlongs. Six furlongs clear? Six length clear. It was six furlongs clear, then that would certainly make it an interesting race, wouldn't it? Although one of those long distance races the other day, Paul Rhodes horse won well, nearly six furlongs. It was that far in front. Anyway, it's only Eyed in the lead. From in second place, Golden Gate. And in third, Captain Paddy. And in fourth, Miami. And as I say quite a lot of times, I can make as many mistakes as I like in these sort of races. Because there's only three people watching. Because Alex Cherry is watching. He's got his two horses. And Obi-Wan's got his one. And Craig Beckett's got his one. And I suppose Graham Clutterbuck will be watching as well. As he is doing the flat handicapping. Only eyed in the lead. By about four lengths to Golden Gate in second. Captain Patty is third and Miami is fourth. They're racing in true Indian father. Only eyed is clear in the lead. Opportunity for some of these to. Pick up a race at Royal Ascot next week as well as a long distance handicap at Ascot next week, which is only something like a 0 to 80 or something, or a 0 to 90. So, probably won't be too many eligible runners for that. And maybe a winner of this might end up penalising themselves by not being able to get in that race. So, those things to think about. A big flat meeting next week with the race has been structured so that everybody gets a bit of a chance it's not all just group races so the conditions of some of the races are not the same as they are in real life so study the conditions before making your entries i made a couple of mistakes last season well realizing a couple of races weren't framed in exactly the same way as they are really the jersey is one of the big ones that's nothing like it really is it's a seven furlong three-year-old race in real life but it's a I think it's a 0 110 handicap next week for us and the Ribbles is another one that's a 0 120 that's normally a group race so there's plenty of opportunity for the lower tier to get some wins next week and anyway at the moment we've got three furlongs to go in this one and only Eyed is the leader from Miami in second these two have pulled clear of Captain Paddy and Golden Gate at the back and the top weight Miami is scooting off into the lead with two furlongs to go, maybe trying to show he's a class above these. And he's quickly gone three or four lengths clear. And Alex Cherry's horses are trying to close. Obi Wan's Golden Gates out of shot. But coming down towards the final furlong, this is looking like a pretty easy win for Miami. And Chucky might want to ease him up a bit, right? He not win too far. Otherwise, he might just get himself handicapped out of a race next week. And it's Miami that takes it from Captain Paddy second, Golden Gate third, and Omi Eyed in fourth.
Pretty comfortable win there then from Miami, the top weight, odds on favourite. Took it by six lengths. And there it is, Miami for Craig Beck with the winner. Captain Paddy for Alex Cherry was second. Golden Gate for Obi-Wan was third. And Alex Cherry's only eyed was fourth. <laughs>